Louisiana Beer Reviews looks at Surly Bender, not available in Louisiana, so how did I get it? I didn't drive to Minnesota, but one of my fans, one of my viewers, Kyle, sent this to me. I received it yesterday. So excited. Although this is posted on Wednesday, I did receive it on Monday. So it was yesterday of... Anyway, alright, uh, canned on August 14, 2014. Pretty fresh. This company was started about 2005. Uh, this particular beer is 5.5% alcohol. It's 45 international bitterness units. There's also a coffee bender. They use pale ale, aromatic, medium crystal, dark crystal, oats, and chocolate. Now, it doesn't say chocolate malt. It says chocolate. Hmm. Okay. But I presume they're talking about chocolate malt. Um, Columbus and Willamette hops and English ale yeast. It gets an outstanding score on Beer Advocate. The bros say it's outstanding, so that's their second highest score. 97 out of 100 on rape beer, 99 out of 100 for the style. Now, most of the video reviews I saw were very positive. Uh, Daniel Harper, who used to do video reviews, he didn't like it. He gave it a C plus, but everybody else was giving it in at least a B plus A range. So, my first Surly Bender, and more than likely my last. Unless it shows up here, which is certainly within the realm of possibility. I have the best. I certainly do have some of the best fans in the world always sending me beer to try. Have it in this St. Arnold glass for no real reason except that rapier said put it in a can kind of put it in a glass like this and I don't have any of this style that are not you know painted. Um thick beige head and it's a brown appearance. I mean straight up brown. So if you like brown ale, this is one to have. I can already already smell that rich aroma. It's rich, bready, brown bread, coffee, chocolate, oatmeal, sugar, yeast, um, dough, maybe a little candy. Smells great. Making a little crackle. Tastes great. Good bitterness, but it's not overly bitter. So if you're a person that doesn't like really hoppy or bitter beers, this could be one for you because it's nicely bitter. You're not getting any grapefruit or pineapple. It's just like a straightforward bitterness. And malty and bready and sweet, like sugary and caramel and coffee and chocolate and <laughs> um and oats <laughs> I think this is right up there with Samuel Smith's oatmeal stout um it's probably a little milder it is milder than that in some ways that's a darker beer but they're both so delicious if this beer has flaws, I would really like to know what they are. I mean, I really would. It's available in cans and on draft. I mean, it's, they're saying outstanding. I'm going to go along with that. I'm going to say A+. Plus. Outstanding. Dynamite beer. The cost, I couldn't tell you. I didn't buy it. It was sent to me, like I said, this week. I, I used to not like brown ales for whatever reason. Like I was, no, let me not say it like that. I used to not be that excited about brown ales. When I first started drinking beer in February 96, I liked Pete's Wicked Ale and brown ales and all. And then I kind of like thought I didn't really like them that much. But now I've come around the circle and I'm back to the beginning and I really like them again so this is a fantastic one <clears throat> it's somewhat carbonated as you can tell so laissez les bon temps rouler thank you Kyle awesome and y'all come on down to New Orleans <laughs>